Uh, cerebrovascular changes in Alzheimer's disease are very early events uh, that uh, correlate with early onset, uh, but also worse prognosis in Alzheimer's disease patients. And uh, there has always been this uh, chicken and egg question whether they're secondary to disease pathogenesis or drivers of disease. And uh, in my talk today at the AIC meeting, I presented uh, a key culprit in the blood, the blood protein fibrinogen that is a driver of neurotoxic immune responses uh, in the brain in Alzheimer's uh, disease and methods to be able to target this pathway uh, in uh, Alzheimer's disease and neurodegeneration. Uh, one of the technologies that we employed in the lab to be able to dissect the molecular and cellular interface that the blood proteins utilize uh, to interact with nervous system cells is multiomic uh, profiling, where we integrate transcriptomic with a global photoproteomic approaches together with genetic loss of function studies uh, to ask the question, uh, what are the key blood proteins that activate uh, pathogenic uh, pathways uh, in innate immune cells? cells, and is there any selectivity among blood proteins uh, to mediate uh, these uh, effects? Um, what we found uh, is that uh, actually blood proteins are not interchangeable, but uh, they have uh, distinct uh, receptor-mediated pathways in uh, immune cells, with fibrin being a key driver that it's necessary and sufficient to induce neurotoxic pathways in innate immunity with detrimental effects in the cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's disease models. And uh, these studies really change the way we think about the blood-brain barrier as downstream uh, of inflammation to actually be an apical driver that uh, uh, polarizes innate immunity towards these toxic phenotypes. The results from our study in regard to how does the blood polarize microglia cells uh, led us to the development of uh, the blood, what we call the blood microglia network, which is a series of genes that participate in neurodegeneration, oxidative stress, glutathione metabolism, and other inflammatory processes, uh, all of which uh, lead to uh, a microglia neurotoxicity towards synaptic dysfunction, as well as also my in loss in the brain. And uh, this uh, shows that uh, blood, the blood in the brain can be an upstream driver of these neurotoxic uh, responses uh, in uh, um, Alzheimer's disease, but also other neurodegenerative conditions that have blood in the brain, which could be diseases of autoimmune origin, like multiple sclerosis, or traumatic injuries, uh, uh, or also other neuropathologies.